everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at more bonnets today for your Ninja regulators. These are the exclusive ultralight bonnets in colors. Now, you can buy a regular black ultralight bonnet anywhere. It doesn't really matter. But you cannot buy one in red or blue or pink or green or silver or gray or teal or orange or purple anywhere else at ansgear.com. So check it out. Here we've got them right here. I've got both a standard and a ultralight regulator. Uh, in front of me right now and if you already have one of these regulators then it's very very simple for you to get one of these bonnets and change your regulator into something that maybe looks more like you your style your color uh, your play right there if you've got a standard well that's not a standard if you've got a standard regulator like this one you can buy an ultralight bonnet and put it on there and turn your standard regulator into an ultralight regulator or if you've already got an ultralight regulator and you just want to change the color then you can change your ultralight light regulator, a red, red regulator, into a gray ultralight regulator, or something like that. Now, switching these out is very, very simple. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let's get an original weight on these. Oops, make sure we're at zeros. So a standard ultralight regulator is four ounces, 4.1 ounces, and then a standard, standard regulator is 5.4 ounces so four or 5.4 let's go ahead and take our standard reg and let's remove our bonnet off of there now as we're working with uh, high pressure air systems like that always make sure that your regulator is free of air push down on the pin at the top make sure that there is no air inside the regulator uh, you can crack a burst disc bleed it out do whatever you need to do when you're working on your regulator it needs to be empty just to be sure so we're going to remove both screws from the side here. So we've got one on the left and right. I find it easiest to just take them out. You could back them up to the point where they are no longer in the way, but literally another turn and they come out. So right, once we've got that off of there, then we can just unscrew the bonnet. Now, as we unscrew the bonnet, we get to the end. We want to make sure that we're working in an area that we are not going to lose anything. So a nice big table. I would not recommend doing this on the ground or in the dirt or anything like that. We don't want things to roll away and things can roll away. So as this comes up to the top, I'm going to pull this apart. We've got a couple different sections in our regulator here. We've got our spring. We've got our piston, which is in here. And then underneath that, we have some shims. Now these shims control the output pressure of your regulator. So as many shims as are in there is what the shims you want to be in there. You can see right now there is three red shims inside this regulator. If I was to reference the manual, three red shims would give me my highest output pressure for a standard regulator. It's about eight to 850, I believe. And then if I remove shims, I can reduce the output pressure from the regulator all the way down to having no shims in it, which is gonna give me my lowest output pressure, which I believe is about 450 PSI or so. But that's not what we're talking about. That's what's inside. So make sure if you take out three shims or you take a regular part that has three shims and that's what you wanna have, put three shims back in. It's up to you. To get this out, obviously our spring came out. We're gonna put that off to the side. We're gonna grab a hold of the piston with our fingers and we're just gonna kind of wiggle it around while pulling on it. And that's gonna allow the piston to just come right out. You do not need to grab onto it with a pair of pliers or anything like that. All you're gonna do is just damage your piston and then there's a possibility that it doesn't seal. You go to air it up, it leaks or your 1.8 burst disc blows or something happens. It's just not worth it. So we've pulled our piston out. You can see our piston has a spring, a tiny spring inside there. That spring pushes against, maybe, there it is, the bearing that's inside there. The bearing is what seals up the top when the pressure is coming through. If you have a leak coming out the top of your bonnet right here, there is a little green, o or I'm gonna say O-ring, a little green Teflon seat that is inside there, which needs to be replaced. And this is on the, um, the Ninja ball valve style regulators. If it's on a different regulator or a different brand, the, um, the seal at the top will be a different color, might be a different shape. But in a Ninja ball style reg, it is a green Teflon disc. 
So let's put that back inside there. Push that down to the bottom. And then we are ready to go. So when we are working with assembling or lubricating high pressure air regulators, make sure you're using paintball specific grease only. Nothing uh, petroleum based like a three in one or anything like that. Um, there is a possibility that under that high pressure that those types of oils can ignite and that's not a good scene. So paintball greases only, please. Um, all right, we're gonna take our ball bearing, drop it inside. Once we've greased the inside of it, take our piston, make sure that your spring is in, push that down in there as well. If we are shimming, we're gonna take our shims, put our shims inside the bottom, and then screw them together. As we are screwing together, if you have your regulator set up like this where the screws are still in it, and you feel the screws binding against the threading, do not continue. Back the screws out or undo them a little bit more so that they do not get in the way of the threading as you are screwing it in. Make sure you get it all the way to the, uh, the end right there. You want it to snug up against the bottom and then we can go ahead and tighten this down. And this was our standard, which was like 5.4, I believe, with the ultralight bonnet. It goes down to four ounces. The four, four one. These are gonna be usually the same weight right there. So we've converted our heavy standard regulator into a ultralight regulator with a cool looking bonnet on it. Or take your ultralight bonnet and switch it out with the colored bonnet and you have a cool ultralight regulator. Either way, you can do it. The option is yours. Remember, these colored bonnets, the ultralight bonnets, are exclusive to ANS gear. You will not find them anywhere else. So get on the website, check out the colors that are available, and order yours now through ansgear.com.